Donald Trump refuses to release his tax returns. Nobody cares about it except some of the folks in the media. Nobody cares about it. Trump claims he can't release any of his returns while under routine audit. Even as the IRS has made clear, there's no legal requirement for Trump to withhold them. Just so you understand, I'm under audit, a routine audit, and when the audit's complete, I'll release my returns. And even as Trump's own lawyers note the IRS review of his 2002 through 2008 returns is complete. Even his own running mate, Mike Pence, preparing to release his taxes this week. So I'll, I'll give mine to you all this week, and he's going to provide his after a routine audit is done. Trump's refusal has drawn sharp attacks from Hillary Clinton. Clearly, his tax returns tell a story that the American people deserve and need to know. And despite Trump's contention, a series of polls show voters do, in fact, care about Trump's tax returns. So what exactly aren't voters seeing? Voters could see the type of taxable income that he has, whether it's ordinary income or capital gains income. Voters could also learn how much a candidate has given to charity. A CNN review of Trump's available financial documents show four potential areas that may shed light on Trump's reluctance. Take Trump's charitable giving. An extensive Washington Post review of Trump's personal charitable donations has raised major questions of what Trump has actually given, despite Trump's bold claims to the contrary. This is my check for a million dollars. Or take Trump's tax rate, an issue that dogged the Republican Party's 2012 nominee for months. Trump has made clear, as a businessman, he's done everything in his power not to pay more tax than necessary. I pay as little as possible. I use every single thing in the book. But Trump's involvement with real estate raises the very real possibility he pays nothing at all, according to tax experts. An obvious benefit is that a taxpayer who owns property, real estate, a building, can trade that property for another building. And as long as that property is going to be used for investment purposes or in business, the taxpayer won't pay tax on the gain at all. In fact, CNN has identified at least three years, 1978, 1979, and 1984, where he definitively paid zero dollars in federal income tax. Documents show another two years, 1991 and 1993, where Trump likely paid little to no income tax as well. And when asked about it during the campaign, he's been hardly forthcoming. What is your tax rate? Uh, it's none of your business. Then there's the issue of Trump's total net worth. Now, to be clear, a few years of tax returns wouldn't shed light on whether Trump is actually worth the 10 plus billion dollars he claims. But it would show Trump's net income and adjusted gross income, providing more detailed insight than the financial disclosure form filed by Trump in May. But perhaps most importantly for Trump's opponents, a detailed release of Trump's returns would provide a window into Trump's business connections. Maybe he doesn't want people to see that he's got some connections. Trump's own lawyers making it clear that Trump is the quote sole or principal owner in approximately 500 separate entities. Those entities engage in hundreds of transactions, deals, and new enterprises every year. For the moment, however, there is little indication that Trump's returns will be revealed before election day, though Trump himself appears willing to make a deal. In the meantime, uh, she has 33,000 emails that she deleted. When is she going to release her emails? She probably knows how to find it. Let her release her emails, and I'll release my tax returns immediately.